we want to get more specific about individual colors, we can use the secondary color corrector. This works on one particular color. For example, if we want to up the greens, we've now upped the greens. Note that with that comes the baggage of turning the face green, so if we really want to continue with this, we're going to have to get more specific on the face. We've selected the green, but we also have the option to rotate through the U. For example, I can make the t-shirt blue, purple, red, orange, any color I want in this manner. Let's look at more tools. Color balance. We can alter the RGB values in a clip. You can also specify the areas that you wish to affect. The highlights, in other words, the highs, the midtones, the shadows or the blacks. And we can layer these. We can have more than one instance of each individual effect. Color curves, we've looked at color curves before in the context of an effect. But we can also use it more subtly in this manner. HSL adjust, or U saturation and luminance, is sometimes called brightness because it gives that effect. We can change a U, and then we can increase or decrease the saturation as well as the luminance. So it looks like it's creating a lighter effect. Vegas gives you a significant palette of tools with which to paint your masterpiece. Coming up, we're going to get practical. We're going to match this shot with this shot as best we can. We're going to create the Sim City look, and we're going to come up with a stylish look for this video. This is the original. We'll see what we can make it into.